Like what we're doing at Cube for Two? Hit the like and subscribe button to let us know. All right, guys, let's get started. What's up, Cubers? It's your boy, Daniel, and today we're going to talk about Mono Black Aggro. What do you know about aggro and black aggro at that? I know how to burn things. Kid, black aggro is not about burning things. Ugh. All right. I got you. I got you. I got a question from a viewer. It's going to address your concerns. Here we go. First, let's take a look at our question, shall we? The thing I wanted to see more is how you support aggro and other colors. For example, black aggro. Well, in order for you to understand black aggro, and in order for little man over here to understand black aggro, we have to take a trip through time. We're going to start off with one of the scariest opening plays you can make in Magic. Turn one, Dark Ritual, into Hypnotic Spectre. Yay, it's hippie! Hypnotic Spectre was the scariest thing your opponent could do on turn one because you know you're going to get hit on turn two and lose cards, and you're going to get hit a couple of more times because the thing flies and you can't stop it. But the worst part about Hippie wasn't what happened on turn one, it was what happened on turn two. After casting the Hippie with the Ritual on turn one, most of the time turn two involved him to Turok or Sinkhole. Turok strips you of two cards at random, and Sinkhole destroys a land. Not my land. How am I going to cast Kozilek like that, huh? But that's kind of the point, is that black aggro disrupts their opponent's hands and their mana base back in the day in order to slow them down so they could beat them to death with small creatures. And actually very little has changed. In cube, we play quality hand disruption spells, like Thoughtseize, still playing him to Turok, reprinted, and Inquisition of Kozilek. Each of these are fine opening plays that help strip your opponents of cards, and by stripping them of cards, you're essentially time walking them, because you can steal their two drop or their three drop so that they have nothing to cast on those turns. Or you can steal their board wipe so that they can't wipe away your creatures and you can flood the board with value. But you have to go deep on an archetype if you want it to work in cube. And when you know what that means, kid? I steal more cards? Heck yeah you do! Cube density is a thing, and that means this is not enough. We're gonna run Duress, Despise, even Divest, and we can go deeper than this. We could run Lay Bear the Heart, Distress, or if you don't want to have any friends and you want to play an utterly busted card, by the way this one belongs in Vintage, you can play Mind Twist. All of these are quality hand disruption spells that you could put in your cube depending on its size. The bigger the cube, the more of these effects you'll need to increase density. Dad, I want to play creatures. I'm so glad you brought that up, kid. I want to play them too. And I want Mo Hand Disruption. So, we're going to play Kite Sail Freebooter, Brain Magnet, and Mesmeric Fiend. All of them come in with a body and disrupt your opponent's hand. Doing this on turn two is essential for making black aggro work. The more redundancy in your hand disruption spells, even if they're attached to bodies, the more consistent the black aggro deck's going to be. But dad, these are two drops. Aggro decks need one drops. Well, that's the smartest thing you said all day, kid. In order to make aggro decks, you need one drop. So let's look at the quality black one drops. We got Blood Soak Champion. He's an all-star. Dread Wanderer. Grave Crawler is really good, especially if you have a density of zombies, but we're gonna keep going. Knight of the Ebon Legion is the new guy on the block and he's pretty solid and I love me some gutter bones. Y'all know how I feel about him. All of these are quality black one drops. But as you move into the two drop slot, you can pick some aggressive creatures to go with your hand disruption creatures as well. I'm a big fan of Bloodgast, Era Falconrath, and Una's Prowler. Dad, what about the Order of Midnight? We just put it in the cube. You know, you're right. Order of Midnight is pretty solid, as are most of the modal creatures from Throne of Eldraine heads up on that. But we need to keep traveling up our curve in the aggro deck, and that means we need solid three drops, and these are three of my favorites. Plague Engineer, I misjudged this card. This is a solid three drop, and it shrinks your opponent's creatures, because most of the time you can pick at least one of their types on the boards. By the way, Human is a safe blind pick. Spawn of Mayhem might save four, but that spectacle cost means it's three all the time because you're just crashing in. You don't care if you trade a creature so long as you trigger some damage and get to drop Spawn of Mayhem. And Murderous Rider is a new all-star. Again, those Throne of Eldraine modal cards are really, really good. 
Dad, where's the beef? I want my beef. That's a fair request, and in the aggro deck, the beef happens at the 4 mana slot. Now, one deceptive card that you could play in the 4 slot is Braids. If you're ahead on board and you've disrupted your opponent's hand, Braids can come down and start forcing your opponent to clear their lands away, which just locks them out of the game completely. Plus, some of your 1-drops could be recursive, and recurring gutter bones only to sack them to Braids, while your opponent has to sack permanents that don't recur, is really, really good. The new boy on the block, the big guy, is Rankle. I'm so impressed with this card. Rankle is amazing and might be the new best 4-drop in cube, even over Braids and over Kalidus, who I enjoy playing a lot. That being said, I'm not sure he's as good as he used to be. He's starting to show his age. He's a little easier to remove, and he's a lot slower than he should be. So, if you're looking for one of these guys to test, try out Rankle. That card is dumb. But this isn't it. When we're playing in our aggro deck, we still need one other thing, and that's removal. You should play a little bit of removal, and this is some of the best. Snuff Out is not a 4-mana removal spell. You're in the aggro deck, you don't care about your life, so you're, you're going to pay the 4 life rather than pay its casting cost. Ultimate Price and Doom Blade are classics. You could even play a card like Dismember. There's so much black removal that's playable in cube. All of this added together equals a low to the ground, highly disruptive, able to remove threats mono black aggro deck and this kid is how you support aggro in cube no burn no odrazi not everything can be about spaghetti monsters kid that's gonna do it for today cubers if you've got a question or there's a topic you want us to cover be sure to leave it in the comments below we'll take a look at it follow us on the twitter at cube for two like subscribe do all the things and as always and until next time Shuffle up and keep cubing, my friends.